Welcome to the video. I am Prithvi Kishan from MATLAB Helper and in this video we are going to implement lossless compression techniques using MATLAB. This is a MATLAB program to implement Hefman encoding on numeric symbols using MATLAB functions. We first generate numbers from 1 to 8 as the symbols. Then each symbol has its respective probability defined by the prob array. We then generate a binary Huffman code dictionary using the Huffman, dic Huffman dict function and symbols and prob as its parameters. We then generate a 100 cross 1 input matrix with symbols 1 to 8 with its occurrence defined by the prob array. We then convert the original signal to, des uh, to binary and then we calculate the length of this binary sequence. We then generate a lossless compressed Huffman encoded signal using the Huffman enco function and store it in code. We then convert this encoded signal to binary and calculate its length. We then decode the, the Huffman encoded signal and compare it with the original signal and then see if both are equal. We can finally run the code. We see that the input sequence has a length of 400 bits in binary whereas the encoded sequence length has only 230 bits in binary. Hence we can say that compression has been uh, performed. Also after comparing the output decoded signal and the input signal, we find that they are both equal. Hence we can also say it is lossless. We now go to the next program. This is a MATLAB program to implement Huffman encoding on alphanumeric symbols using MATLAB functions. We first create an input signal with alphanumeric values as shown here. We then create a Huffman dictionary with code words such that no code word is a prefix of another code word. We then perform Huffman encoding using the Huffman enco function with input sig and dict as its parameters and store it in enco. We also decode the Huffman encoded signal and store it in sig. We then compare the input signal and the decoded signal. We finally run the program. As you can see, this is the input signal we have defined and this is the dictionary we have created with code words. Then this is the array sig which is the decoded signal which is also equal to the input signal. Hence we can say that both the decoded signal and the input signal are equal and it is lossless. We now go to the third program. This is the MATLAB program to implement Huffman coding by creating our own program. We first input the values where S is the symbols in the format of character array and P is the value of probability in the form of integer array. We then have a code which includes for loop to arrange the probability in descending order and also to change the position of the symbols accordingly. Then we know that Huffman encoding has n number of stages which is defined by n minus r by r minus 1 where n is the number of symbols and r is the number of digits used to represent one number. This is the for loop that accomplishes the same. Then we find where the temporary sum or the composite sum has been inserted. This is the code to assign code words to a symbol and here the logic is that we assign 1 to the upper position symbol in the stage and assign 0 to the lower position symbol in the stage. We can finally run the code. Okay, we see that in each stage there has been a composite sum formed by adding the last two probability values. And in our case, th there are two stages as you can see. This is the stage where the descending order sorting has occurred. And these are the code word values for B, A, C and D. Hence, this is how Huffman coding is performed. We now go to the next program. This is the MATLAB program to implement Shannon binary encoding. We first take in symbols and their probabilities in descending order into an array. We then find the alpha and code length array of each of the symbols. 
the alpha value of a symbol is the cumulative probability of all the symbols before it and n represents the code length of each symbol we then implement shannon's binary encoding algorithm which involves taking the alpha value and converting it to binary and then taking n which is the code length number of bits after the decimal points which forms the code word of each symbol this is implemented using this for loop written here we then compute important compression algorithm parameters such as average code length the entropy the efficiency and redundancy we can finally run the program we see this is the code length matrix and the code word of the first word is 00 code word of the second zero is 01 code word of the third word is 10 and the average code length is 2 entropy is 1.57 the efficiency of this algorithm is 78.5475 and the redundancy is 21.4525 hence this is how shannon binary encoding can be performed using matlab thank you for watching this video do like this video if you found it helpful if you have any queries post them in the comments or get in touch with us follow us on linkedin facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel education is our future matlab is our future happy matlabbing